You were talking about your clientele before, weren't mm -hmm. you? Mm. Yes. Um, I found that the ones that have had hay fever, um, they're drinking more water, but they're having foods um, that aren't as dehydrating, so they're cutting out wheat and dairy, sugar, they're having a more natural diet that I recommend, and they've found a lot they've been a lot better. And, and that's what we find with all the remedies. Mm. What workshops do you do? Because you mentioned those before. Yeah. Um, well, I have four or five people and I'll show them kind of foods, uh, you know, some of the foods that you tried today. There's the sushi, which is made with brown rice or white sushi rice uh, with the seaweed. And this isn't the same seaweed that you have when you're in a Chinese, is it? No. Because that's, that's, that's cabbage. That's cabbage. That's cabbage. Yeah. And, and with a lot of sugar on and things yes. like that. There's something like soya, people think soya's good, and actually it's very challenging to the thyroid. People do think soya's good for you, so, so, mm. uh, but it's not necessarily so good no. on its own. What um, about soya milk? No, very fatty and difficult to digest, as well as leaching you know, I, um, iodine, which your thyroid needs. Really? Mm. It's fascinating. So, yeah. You know a lot of stuff, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Sugar. Sugar's a big one. Sugar, they say, is more oh, really? addictive than cocaine. Yes. yes, and people are addictive to it. And I used to be, and now I don't even need it. The way I eat and the way I recommend people to eat, no, you don't get those sugar cravings. Oh, really? You do, yeah. I it think really I might be help. addicted to sugar, actually. Mm. Oh, yeah, I have to talk to you about that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. have to have two sugars in my tea. Oh, really? Is that yeah. bad? So my biggest tip, Max, yeah. I can give anyone, is to eat more consciously or mindfully knowing how you love to feel and then all of a sudden you might pick something up you know you might have had a, a cup of coffee um yeah. or tea or something that isn't so good for you and you either drink or eat and you think hmm i don't feel so good with that when you do it more mindfully or you can mentally say body is this what you want and you might suddenly say actually no it isn't what i want 